do it again, do it again. <laughs> We're not going super crazy, but I did want to show you guys if you are interested either on yourself or to do it on someone else mm -hmm. How to do foil hair hair foil highlights in someone's hair So I have a lot of hair. Yeah <laughs> Yes, you do. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, <laughs> let's get this started Okay, so for the products that we are using today as always I am using BW2 bleach and then I also am using just a 10 volume. I know normally for bleach you would use a 20 or 30, but because we are only lightening it just slightly, we're only using the 10 volume. And then of course you need your bowl and your brushes and some gloves and a crappy shirt you don't care about. And we are using foils today. And of course, all of these products do come from Sally's Beauty Supply, not affiliated or sponsored, but that's just where I get my stuff. Uh, links will be below if you want to get any of the stuff for yourself. And then afterwards, we will be using the Ion Repair Solutions Deep Conditioning for after the bleaching process. All right, so let's get these mixtures started. So for this, like I said, we are using the BW2. We have the large container, so I'm going to be doing some scoops. Probably about three scoops. And then I'm using the 10 volume developer. And you want to get it to a thick, but not too thick consistency. We want like a whipped cream slash pudding type of consistency. All right, so here I'm just showing you how I divided it and how the sectioning goes. So I'll always start off at the bottom underneath. And then for the actual highlights, I just use the tail of the comb and just do a weaving motion to kind of separate the hairs. And then I get the, the thickness of the hair that I want to actually highlight. And then we're gonna have one section of that that we actually highlight, which means we're gonna put the bleach on it. And then the other half, we do not. And then for the actual highlighting, process what I'm doing is I'm staying about an inch or so away from her root and you can start in the middle or further towards the top and then I kind of feather it towards the root so when it grows out it will be a good growth and uh, won't be noticeable and then for the bottom part I did use foils so I'm just showing you that now but I ended up switching and not using foils for the rest of it um, and then another thing that I do want to mention is for the whole bottom half I did use uh, 10 volume because the bottom of course would be setting longer than the top and then this is what it actually looks like once I got all of the bleach in the sections that I want so you can kind of see how I'm doing it and then for the top I'm showing you here that I did section off a middle section and then from the ear forward it's gonna go at a diagonal so that when it falls it will fall great for her hair and it'll look good. Um, so for this part, um, I'm just showing you again where I'm doing it, and then this is what it looks like after it's all done. We're gonna let this set for about 30 minutes, rinse it, and be back with the final results. All right, guys, so we did, we left it in there for about 30 minutes or so, and we are back with the final results. Now, I will tell you, it is very subtle results. This is the next day, new makeup. Um, new makeup, <laughs> um, but it is exactly what she wanted, correct? Yes. Um, very minimal, uh, more natural looking kind of highlights. Um, so they're noticeable, but not anything too crazy. So I, I don't know if you can really see it as much here. And I will insert some pictures as well so that you can see. She does have some more underneath. And then turn to the side. You can definitely see it more in the front on this section. Are you happy with your hair? I love it. 
Alrighty. And um, here, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Alright, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hold on. Let's do a montage. Three, two, one! Okay.